evolution and the human brain. This video will look at reasons why humans have a brain as a uh, result of evolutionary processes. The first reason why we have a brain is that, well, animals use it to perceive, change behavior and react to the environment in order to bring about survival. Many organisms do not have a brain and some only use it temporarily like uh, tourniquets which uses the brain to navigate to a good feeding point or feeding ground by, by a rock. Afterwards, it digests its own brain. The reason for this is that the brain consumes a lot of energy and um, wastes that energy in terms of heat. Other problems in distinguishing between brains include how to measure it. Scientists measured the brains by its size or weight but that doesn't really compare intelligence, since blue whales have larger brains, yet are not necessarily smarter than humans. Another way to measure brains includes the proportion of the brain to body, being a more accurate way since humans have the largest brain proportion to, um, to the body. Thus, measuring the brain needs to be importantly considered in order to compare with other species and across our evolutionary development. Intelligence is defined as the capacity to act and survive in a context and can take different forms such as spatial and emotional intelligence, for example. Reasons for larger brains include the need to have good sensory, spatial and memory skills since it is harder to navigate when in the trees compared to on the ground. Another reason includes the radiator hypothesis, which proposed, which was proposed by Falk in 1990, who stated how blood circulation improved, allowing for more cooling and thus a greater brain size. As the brain got bigger, the rate of maturation got slower, increasing neoteny or childhood. This allowed uh, more brain cells to be produced and thus uh, can even uh, thus can even produce bigger brains, since uh, neuro, a lot of neuroproliferation and pruning occurred uh, during childhood. The cultural niche theory states how humans change the environment, leading to bigger human brains, thus forming a positive feedback loop. The Machiavellian theory suggested humans develop bigger brains in order to get used to living with each other while keeping our own selfish interests in mind such as um, the ability, through the ability to deceive and lie and cheat each other. Diversifying in music, arts and cognitive ability, humans may have evolved bigger brains to attract mates for sexual reproduction. Also, the brain is seen as a Swiss army knife, which was proposed by Steven Pinker uh, to use different tools and cognitive devices for survival. Brains are thought of as a cultural medium to propagate memes or cultural units. Well, whatever the reasons, this has resulted in the expanding of our prefrontal cortex, led to the development of language, increased representation of our hands and finer motor skills, and also extensive hemispheric uh, specialization. Thanks for watching.